My name's Carly and welcome to Thrifty Garage where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. Today I'm taking over the garage again to repurpose some furniture that we currently have for new things. This is the toy storage and bookshelf that we used to have upstairs in our kids' room for their toys and books. But as you can see, they are pretty beat up. They also have more toys and books than this now. So we've found new stuff for that and we are going to find new life for these. My goal is to ultimately be able to get rid of this bookshelf because it won't fit up the stairs and takes up our entire entryway. We're going to start with this shelf first because it's going to be the less labor intensive of the two. The only thing we need to do is take these tracks off where the buckets were sitting. We've also decided to turn it to be a vertical shelf instead of horizontal because it'll fit in the space that we need. It'll be less work because I won't have to design more shelving for it and it will fit exactly what I need onto it. So here we go. Let's just take off those tracks. Luckily, even though this is a piece of Ikea furniture, the tracks were put on with a Phillips head screwdriver. So all we're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver and these should come off quickly. All right, we have this shelf put in place. As you can see, we've got some stuff for the kids when they've been crafting or playing or doing different things. We have the long-term storage in here. We don't really want lots of people to get into, so it's perfect to have it like this. Put the brooms in front of it. I think it works perfect. On to the next shelf. All right, for the rest of the day, we will be working on this shelf. It does need a new brace along the bottom that has been broken, and we are going to paint it. Get it ready to hopefully take the place of this shelf and go in this space a little bit better. The first step with painting laminate furniture is to get it properly cleaned. So I've got this damp microfiber cloth that I'll be wiping it down with. If there's any stubborn, sticky places that I need to get extra clean, I'll be taking a little bit of Dawn dish soap to it. After that, we will take a 100 grit sandpaper block and rough sand the entire thing. I also need to be able to remove all of the hardware so that I can paint each piece individually and then put it back together. One of my favorite things to do with the hardware is to put it in bags and label them so that I know exactly where they need to go back onto the furniture. After you're done with the rough sanding, you want to make sure that there's no dust and debris, so you'll be wiping it down one more time. And now we're finally ready for primer. To start this project, I'm going to take this paintbrush and put primer in all the corners and the cracks and crevices. I'm not really pleased with this two inch brush, so I think when I do the final coat, I'll use a thinner brush. After that, I'm just going to use this paint roller to put primer all over every surface to prepare it for paint. I got primer on this project I was actually really pleased with it without doors on it so I'm contemplating keeping the doors off I think I'm going to skip painting them for now and if I change my mind in the future we can always add them back on
gonna end there for the night. I have primer on all of it and two coats of paint on all of the surfaces and the tops of the shelves. Tomorrow I will come out and assess where it needs a third coat and flip the shelves over and get them ready for paint too. All right, and here is the finished product. We decided not to film the ending because it was just a clear coat and you couldn't really see the difference. But we did do three layers of polyurethane on this to help it be able to withstand the use of our children. We still have not braced the bottom of this. Um, my goal is to try and get a metal beam to put across it so it adds a more rustic feel to it, something that will kind of match the decor behind us. But other than that, it's ready, fully being used, and we are in love with this project. Thank you for watching Thrifty Garage. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Originally, the shelf is meant to be laid vertical, but let's try that again. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. <laughs>